Offsec recently released a brand new beginner level cybersecurity certification, the OSCC, which stands for Offsec Cybercore Certified. In this video, I'm going to talk about the certification, the course, the exam, and at the end, I'm going to talk about whether or not this certification is worth it for your career when it comes to breaking in to the cybersecurity field. So make sure you stick around to the end for that. And fair warning, I do not have this certification and I have not completed the course. However, I do have two other offset certifications and I've also completed two other offset courses, which makes me more qualified than any other YouTuber has covered the certification up to this point. Furthermore, I currently have an offset unlimited subscription, which means I can basically do as many offset courses as I want and the OSCC being no exception. So I did go into the OSCC course and I looked at some of the texts some of the videos and some of the labs and I have a pretty deep insight of what the course is actually about. And I'm not gonna complete the course or the certification because both the course and the certification is below my current skill set. I have nothing to prove. Like I said earlier, I have two higher level offset certifications and I'm currently pursuing even higher level certifications and I have 13 certifications in total. So getting the certification doesn't make sense for my career. But I'm making this video because part of this channel is to help brand new beginners like you break in this field and land their first job. And it would be a crime if I didn't talk about a brand new certification that's specifically targeted for cybersecurity beginners. So in this video, I want to give you my insights and opinions and hopefully help you make a decision on whether or not this certification makes sense for your career. I genuinely do not like talking about certifications that I haven't sat in the exam for. So that's why I had to throw out that disclaimer and give you a lot of background information. So let's go ahead and dive into the video. So the associated course with the OSCC certification is SEC 100, also known as CyberCore Security Essentials. And inside the course, there is a textbook and there is videos that go along with the textbook. So you will be able to learn from reading and by watching. And then there's also hands-on activities that you can complete to practice your real world skills. And by looking at the course material, I see that there is 40 modules, which is actually a little bit longer than most offset courses. So overall, this course covers pretty much everything in cybersecurity at a surface level. And it does dive deep a little bit into certain areas. But overall, I would say you're in pretty good hands with this course when it comes to learning about the entire field as a whole. So first up, we have the introduction, which is the introduction to cybersecurity security essentials. Then we have basic cybersecurity information, which is anatomy of cybersecurity, cybersecurity frameworks and standards, cybersecurity roles. Moving on, we have general skills, and there is a ton of general skills. We have introduction to general cybersecurity skills, Linux basics, Windows basics, data transformation fundamentals, Python scripting fundamentals, PowerShell scripting fundamentals, networking fundamentals, enterprise network fundamentals, introduction to network firewalls, cloud computing fundamentals, background and contemporary AI, and cryptography fundamentals. Next up, we have offensive. We have introduction to offensive cybersecurity skills, penetration testing process, information gathering and enumeration, understanding web attacks, attacking endpoints, defense evasion, offensive cloud fundamentals, and on the defensive side, we have introduction to defensive cybersecurity skills, SOC management process, defense security processes, vulnerability management, malware analysis, social engineering and phishing, ransomware, DDoS and availability, Wi-Fi security, security and embedded systems, industrial control systems and OT, and risk management and cybersecurity. Last but not least, we have build which consists of introduction to build skills for cybersecurity, software engineering security, foundational input validation concepts, cloud architecture fundamentals, introduction to assurance testing, starting and developing a career in cybersecurity. And this one's a big one because most certifications do not cover that last point. So I think that's really cool that they included that. So as you can see, this course covers a lot of topics. In my opinion, it is very wide, but that is a good thing when you're first getting started out for a few reasons, because you get to learn a little bit about everything for one. And for two, you'll be able to determine what you like best because you're going to run into some topics that you just find very boring. And then you're going to run into some topics that you find extremely fun. Even the areas that you don't find fascinating, it's still important to have that foundational knowledge. And this course does a pretty good job at covering pretty much every aspect of cybersecurity. It doesn't dive too much into governance, risks, and compliance. However, I think it's a good thing because this certification is more tailored for 
technical roles. So if you want to get into a technical role, this is a pretty good certification to start out with. So now let's talk about the exam. Now, like I said earlier, I haven't sat in the exam, but I do know enough about the exam to help you make a determination if this is a good fit for you and to determine where the certification fits in the grand scheme of all the other certifications on the market today. So the exam is a six hour proctored exam. So you will be watched when you're doing this and you will have three different scenarios. So the first scenario is attacking or you have to hack into a target, maybe multiple targets and capture a flag or maybe multiple flags and then submit them into a portal. The next scenario is defensive scenario, which is basically a cyber attack that you have to investigate and then you have to determine some things about the attack and then submit that information into a portal. And then the last part is build where you're giving a situation where something in the network broke and you have to figure out what broke and then you have to fix it but you have to fix it in a secure manner and there's not a single multiple choice question on this exam so it's 100 percent fully and completely practical which makes it stand out compared to other entry-level certifications on the job market today it's also an open book exam so you have access to all the course material while you're doing an exam and you can also google whatever you want so it is extremely practical and you don't need to memorize everything because you have access to all your notes and you have access to the course material while you're doing the exam. There is no mention on the OFSEC websites about how many flags you have to capture, how many points you have to attain to pass the certification. So unfortunately, I do not have that information for you. But what I do know is that there is no report required to pass a certification exam like other OFSEC certifications. So once you get out of the exam environment, you're either going to get a pass or a fail immediately once you get out. And there's also a couple other unique features about this certification compared to other offset certifications. So for starters, you get a free exam retake. So if you fail, don't sweat it. You get a free exam retake as long as you take the second attempt within a year. And the certification is only good for three years. So every other certification for offset is good for life. However, this one is good for three years, so you have to renew it if you want to keep it. Unfortunately, I don't see any information on the OFSEC websites about how to renew the certification. I don't think they're going to put that out there yet because the certification just came out, so no one's even close to having their certification expired, but there is an expiration date on the certification after you get it. Now I'm going to talk about whether or not this certification is worth pursuing for your career and how it compares to other certifications in the certification market. Now I will say right off the bat, I do think that the OSCC is a new gold standard in entry level cybersecurity certifications. And why do I say that? I say that because one of the biggest issues right now in the job market is people go out and they go get certifications and I have a few of them right behind me uh, where they are not practical. They're just multiple choice exams and you do that and you have the knowledge, but it doesn't teach you the hands-on keyboard skills, the practical skills. And the practical and hands-on keyboard skills is what employers are desperately looking for today. And they are turning away people who have a handful of certifications that are just multiple choice. And that is why I think the certification is so good and why it shook up the whole cybersecurity industry as far as entry level cybersecurity certifications go because it addressed a fundamental problem with the job market today. However, unfortunately, since it's brand new, I don't think this is going to be on any job postings anytime soon. Hiring managers and recruiters have a hard time adjusting to the current things, which is kind of crazy because they expect their job candidates to be up to date with the latest and greatest information in cybersecurity, but then their job postings have old and outdated certifications, <clears throat> CH. So it's gonna take some time for the OSCC to actually start popping up on job postings. And it honestly might never happen because like I said, it takes a long time for a new certification to go in job postings, unfortunately. However, the skills that you get are going to really come in handy when you get in those technical interviews where you have to know the hands-on keyboard skills that you can't learn from a certification exam that is only a multiple choice. But it is an OFSEC cert after all, and OFSEC certs are highly respected in the industry. If you don't know, the OFSEC Certified Professional, that's the OSCP, is one of the most sought after certifications in the cybersecurity job market today. So any hiring manager or recruiter who's been in the cybersecurity space for even just a little bit, if they see OFSEC, they're going to recognize the brand 
and it's going to make them look at you a little bit harder than other candidates that are applying to the same job. So even though the OSCC won't be on job posts anytime soon, I don't think that makes it a certification not worth pursuing because I think those hands-on skills are really going to come in clutch when you're doing your interviews. And besides, job postings are extremely flexible. So any employer that posts a job posting with a list of certifications, all those certifications is basically a wish list and not hard requirements. And the way that I started off my career, I went and got all of these certifications and these certifications have historically been what I recommended to start your cybersecurity career with and learn the fundamentals of the field. However, the OSCC covers all of the topics in these certifications in one certification. So there is honestly a lot of information in OSCC. Now, the OSCC doesn't do a deep dive on any of the topics. Actually, I would say like the Conti Network Plus, for example, is going to be a deeper dive into networking than what the OSCC provides. Same thing for like the Conti Pentest Plus. You're going to be diving deep into pen testing with the CompTIA Pentest Plus, probably deeper than the OSCC. However, the OSCC covers all the topics that you need in one go, and it gives you enough information to actually be useful in a cybersecurity career because they focus on the hands-on skills and not the theory. Now, that's not saying CompTIA is completely useless. However, I will say that, you know, CompTIA certifications are mostly multiple choice and they have their performance-based questions, which is kind of hands-on but honestly not really and as someone who has six CompTIA certifications I can honestly say that the performance-based questions are pretty garbage and they are kind of blown up by CompTIA really because those performance-based questions are not that good and honestly I they're not going to hold a candle to what Offsec is providing in terms of hands-on skill and like I said earlier I truly believe that the OSCC is the new gold standard in beginner level cybersecurity certifications. And one thing I'm currently seeing on the internet is a lot of people complaining about the price of the OSCC. And I understand why people are complaining about the price a little bit because the OSCC is not cheap. It is 899 US dollars as of this recording, and that is a hefty price to pay for a single certification. However, like I said, you need all of these certifications to equal this certification. And this certification is 899, and these certifications combined is 1,950. So which one is cheaper? It's basic math. I truly believe that the OSCC is a good deal. However, that's not for me to decide, that's for you to decide. If I start my cybersecurity career today, I would much rather spend $899 for this than to spend $1,950 for this. Now, I don't think the OSCC by itself is going to help you land a job. No certification does that. And even the batch of CompTIA certifications is gonna help you land a job. I've seen plenty of people with a handful of CompTIA certifications struggle to land jobs. You really need upper level certifications to really get those interviews. And I think that a batch of CompTIA certifications in the past did a great job, but I do think that the OSCC does a better job of doing it. For one, it's cheaper, and two, it's more hands-on. And I think the OSCC really puts you in a great spot to go and get a OSCP if you want to go offense security, or go get an OSDA if you want to go defense security, and it really puts you in a great spot foundationally. Another thing I'd like to say is that OSCC is pretty much uncharted territory at this point. There's not a lot of people who have it, if any at all. It is a very brand new certification and I haven't seen anybody actually uh, share on LinkedIn that they've gotten it. So it is a untested certification when it comes to how useful it's going to be in landing a job and translating that into real world skills. However, I do have confidence that it is going to help you do that. So if you do pursue it, it is, I would say, a high risk, but it's also going to be a high reward because I do think it's going to help you stand out as a job candidate because, like I said earlier, the CompTIA search stack has been the traditional way people have started out in this field. And if you go that route, you're just going to look like everybody else. But if you go with the OSCC, I do think it's going to help you stand out in the job application process. And like I keep mentioning in this video, I think the CompTIA certification stack is the best alternative to the OSCC. That's the route that I took. And that honestly, in my opinion, was the best way to learn foundational cybersecurity skills. However, with the release of the OSCC, I do think there is a new king of town when it comes to entry level cybersecurity certifications because you can't beat those hands-on skills. A lot of people went and got those 
CONTU certifications and they struggled to get interviews and then if they got an interview they struggled in the interviews because they lacked the hands-on skills and the knowledge because the CompTIA certifications are all multiple choice and they're not practical and a lot of hiring managers and a lot of recruiters know that so CompTIA honestly doesn't have the best reputation because a lot of people understand that CompTIA certifications are really just theory and aren't practical at all and I think the OSCC addresses that problem the best. So in conclusion, I do think the OSCC is the best certification to pursue if you don't have any certifications and you have no idea how to get your start in the cybersecurity field because it covers so many things, offensive, defensive, build, fundamentals, that it's going to show you what you like and what you don't like about the field. And then once you get certified, you can go into defense security or offense security. If you already have a handful of content certifications in your boat, I don't think the OSCC is worth it because you already have a lot of the foundational knowledge and really all you need is to prove your hands-on skills. And I would do that by going out and getting a Try Hack Me subscription and completing a few Try Hack Me rooms. So by this point, you're probably wondering, what do I do after I become OSCC certified? So if you're trying to become a penetration tester or offense security professional, the obvious choice is go out and get your OSCP. However, there is a large gap in between OSCP and OSCC. So in order to fill that gap, I would strongly consider the INE Security Junior Penetration Tester. That's what I use to help me pass the OSCP on my first try. And if you want to learn more about the EJPT, you can check out my video right here.